Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In this video I'll be sharing 10 ways to look expensive easily every day. How to look high-end, a bit more put together but without breaking the bank. And I'll be sharing things that will not make you look expensive too. I'm sure you've seen other videos about how to look expensive and there are ways to look expensive that everybody talks about such as the three colour rule, wear neutrals, uh, wear basics and so on. Now they're all true but I just wanted to dive a little bit deeper into the whole idea of how to do it easily on an everyday basis and I've come up with a few well ten <laughs> ways that you may not have thought of all of them but will make a huge difference to your overall look firstly why do we want to look expensive in the first place well, not everyone does, of course, but what I would say is that it's often bound up with wanting to look our best. And you may have developed your own style over the years that you want to look your best in as well. So what makes you look expensive? Well, to be honest, it's much simpler than you might think. It's all to do with confidence, tailored pieces and the fit of your clothes. And more than anything, it's about the fabrics you choose to wear and the colours too. It's the small details that count. Basic pieces, but with small details that will really elevate a look. These small details will take your outfits to the next level and will differentiate between the ordinary and looking much more expensive. So my first big tip um, to look expensive every day is very easy and very free. <laughs> uh, star tip number one, have attitude and good posture. I'm not suggesting that you start being rude, not that kind of attitude. But if you just pull yourself up, pull your shoulders back, make sure your chin is parallel to the floor, this will give you such a look of confidence that you will look way more expensive instantly. This posture will also make your clothes sit better on your body as well. Our own Princess of Wales, Catherine, does this perfectly. She always holds herself beautifully and has great posture. Okay, she has great clothes and she has everything at her disposal, but it's actually the first impression when you look at her or anyone that really counts. She looks confident and successful just by looking at her posture, which is always impeccable. And this is what makes her whole look seem expensive, even when she's wearing high street chain clothes. Okay, so my next tip is select fabrics carefully. The look of the fabrics and the textures that you choose to wear says everything about whether you look expensive or not. Natural fabrics tend to look much better than artificial ones, things like wool, cashmere, cotton, silk, leather, but do remember to iron or steam your clothes as well. Now while fabrics such as polyester do have a place, if your aim is to look expensive, try and stay away from fabrics that look obviously polyester or nylon. A key tip is to make sure that your items are not too thin, which would make them see-through. If they're see-through, it is a clear signal that your pieces are cheap. And I'm talking particularly about white t-shirts, white shirts, where it really shows in particular. To look much more put together, it means you shouldn't see a bra or any other undergarments through the material. Of course, some fabrics are designed to look thin, such as summer cami tops and so on, but I'm talking more about blouses, jumpers and t-shirts, which you shouldn't be able to see through. And don't forget, wearing high quality fabrics, natural fabrics, means that you can look expensive every day, very easily, even at home. So I'm demonstrating this with my first look. This stunningly beautiful silk kimono is from Sleep and Glow. It's luxurious and timeless. And going back to my point about not being too thin, this organic silk is dense. It's 100% organic and it's luxe and it is such high quality. In fact, it's in the top 8% of silk in the world in terms of quality. Now the tailoring is excellent, absolutely wonderful quality. All the seams, the belt, the cuffs, all of them say luxurious and expensive. The robe is actually hand sewn, can you imagine that? So wonderful. The colour is to die for too. It's not baby pink, which can look cheap. It's a soft blush pink, which is so pretty. And it's a much more of a neutral shade as well and very sophisticated. I just love it so much. I feel not only expensive and pampered in it, but pretty and feminine too. 
Now it also comes in a black shade as well called Onyx, if you prefer that shade, but I, I just love both of them. As you know, I like to provide you with not only styling advice, but also buying help. So I'm delighted to say that Sleep and Glow are offering you a $10 discount if you go through my link, which I'll put underneath this video in the de description below, and use the promo code Deirdre10. There's also um, $10 discount, not only on this robe, but on other items as well, such as silk top and shorts, the Omnia silk pillow, the Aula pillow, and the weighted blanket for beauty sleep. Now, this is a sort of robe which is a great investment and which will last and last, and you'll always feel special and expensive in it, even when you're lounging around at home. This is what I mean about it's so easy to look expensive, um, even at home. It feels amazing, so smooth and soft, and it just swishes around you, and it just flows beautifully. The shine and the light are so gorgeous, so it just makes relaxing at home a really luxe experience, and you'll look incredibly expensive in it. So it just goes to show that looking expensive can be easy and materials such as this 100% organic silk will always look expensive. So thank you so much to Sleep and Glow for collaborating with me for this section of the video. So let's move on to my third tip to look expensive every day, which is something that you may be slightly less familiar with, which is high quality bottoms. If you wear high quality skirts or jeans or trousers, they make everything else that you're wearing look high quality too. So the whole outfit looks expensive, even though it may only be one item that actually is. So I want to show you this in my look two. So look two here. These beautiful trousers are real quality, not only in the material, but also in the cut and the colour. And they're the sort of trousers that are a real investment piece and very versatile. They're from Abercrombie and & Fitch, and they're one of my current absolute favourites. They're also a perfect transition piece between the seasons. They have that lightness of hue, which makes them look more spring-like as well. Now these are very flattering. I love the pleats on the waist. I think they're really gorgeous. Um, and they come in other neutral colors as well. So, and not only that, you can get different lengths. You can get the shorter length, which I've got here, um, regular and also longer. Now I paired them with a much cheaper and old, actually, ribbed sweater from River Island. But I think the whole outfit looks higher end because of the trousers being quality, classic and classy. Which brings me on to my fourth tip to look expensive every day. Oh, and just before I do that, if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe because it helps the channel to keep going. I share styling tips and inspiration on what works and what doesn't work every week. I'd love you to comment too, as we have a fabulous community and we all love sharing all our comments underneath this video. So for my fourth tip, tip number four is all about colour. One of the most effective and generally accepted ideas of how to look expensive is to stick to neutrals. And it's said for a reason, because it actually works. But I'm not just talking black and grey. Neutrals can have a much wider palette than that and be a lot more cheerful. So it can go from olive green to blush pink, even to sky blue. And these kinds of neutrals can still look expensive. What works best is to wear head to toe look in the same tone. Not exactly the same colour, but certainly in the same sort of blended tone. I personally love a soft, light, neutral look. So that's my interpretation of this. But you may like other neutrals. But I want to show you my look now. This is look three, my tonal outfit. Now, I feel very comfortable in this look. It's easy to wear, it's versatile, and it's suitable for a variety of occasions. I could go shopping with this, with a long coat on the top in the winter, um, or have coffee with friends or family. These wide leg Karen Millen trousers are so perfect to look put together. And I've teamed it in this case with other pieces in the same tonal shades. So the cashmere cardigan and the cream camisole underneath. Now the pale beige of the cardigan is echoed in the shoes so, so that the slightly lighter cream shade of the trousers is sandwiched between the slightly darker shades, making it a really well balanced outfit as well as blending tonally. Now of course you can adapt exactly this sort of a look to any other colour palette that you like. So what if you like colour? 
no problem. You can do exactly this sort of approach with any other monochrome or tonal blend of any of the colours of your choice, as long as it's not too neon. If you want to combine colours, some combinations look much more expensive and much more classy than others. Some things that you might like to consider that do look expensive are things like emerald and white, mustard and rust brown, orange and navy, light pink with beige and chestnut brown with turquoise are particularly good examples. One quick point to bear in mind is do be careful of patterns. By and large, less pattern tends to look more expensive. Not always, but quite often. Unless it's something like stripes, which always look good. I'm not saying don't wear pattern by any means, but do be careful. So if you are going to invest in any items to look particularly high-end, I would suggest that you invest in bags and shoes. These are the first things that people notice about you and they say everything about how polished and expensive you look. You can get away with an entirely cheap high street chain outfit if you add some really good quality shoes or a bag. My number five style tip is linked with this and it's two things really. Structure especially a bag. Every polished look has a great bag and especially a structured bag. In fact, structure and structured tailoring in clothes as well is a huge part of looking wealthier and more expensive. Try and ensure that at least one of the items that you're wearing is more structured. Doesn't have to be smart, just more structured in shape. And the good thing about this is that it's just so easy to use a structured bag rather than a grab bag or a slouchy bag. It really elevates your whole look, such as this Teddy Blake bag, which is one of my all time favorite bags. It's structured, it's polished, it's incredibly versatile, and it's as at home with a smart outfit as it is with jeans and a jumper. It's a real classic. So try to stay away from backpacks and slouchy bags. And Another thing that you need to try and stay away from is too much hardware. Minimal hardware always looks much more expensive than tons and tons of hardware. You'll find that the really expensive bags, you know, we're talking tens of thousands of pounds for them, are actually, they actually have minimal hardware and they focus more on the beautiful structured shape. As I said, the other thing to focus on to look particularly expensive is shoes. So for this, steer clear if you can of the more trendier styles and go for more classic shapes. So my style tip number six is wear pointed toe shoes. A pointed toe shoe gives off an air of polish and as if you've spent way more on the shoes than you probably actually have. And don't forget that pointed toe shoes don't have to be high heels. Some of my very favourite shoes have got pointed toes, um, but actually they're quite flat. They've got maybe half an inch of heel or they can be sling bags. The important thing is that the toe is either pointed or at least almond shape. So let me demonstrate. If you recall the shoes that I was wearing in my look three, uh, you'll notice that I was wearing pointed toe shoes. Now, if I'd been wearing these, chunkier rounded toe boots um, I would not have looked so expensive as you can see there's quite a difference here. So much as I love these gorgeous cream boots from River Island and I really do um, I wouldn't choose to wear them if my primary goal was to look expensive and also to be honest the fact that they're chunky doesn't actually go so well with these wider leg trousers either. And another tiny thing very high heels can look cheap so just be aware of that. Unless, of course, they're not cheap and they cost you a small fortune, in which case they can look amazing. Another style tip to help you look more expensive is my style tip number seven, understated accessories. Try to choose classic, more minimal, simple jewellery because that'll look a lot more tasteful and try to avoid too many logos all at once as well. So in my look three, you will notice that I was wearing my Monica Vinader pearl earrings and necklace. Now, this was fairly understated. Uh, now, if I worn some larger costume jewellery or statement piece made from plastic or, the, or some sort of um, more colourful thing, the whole outfit would have been sent off balance and would not have looked as classy. Of course, it doesn't have to be gold. It could be silver, but just as long as it doesn't look fake. Another little tip to help you to look more put together especially with jewellery, is to find a brand that you love and try and select their pieces and put them together. It'll look much more sophisticated and expensive than if you put lots of different bits of jewellery from different brands, which could look a bit more of a mishmash. 
So my style tip number eight is wear a long coat or a trench coat. A classic long coat always looks more expensive than a shorter one. It just has a more elegant air and it's a classic wardrobe staple that looks automatically elevated. And especially if it's fairly well structured. Back to that point about having structure again. Also, it's best to select a coat in a classic design as well, because not only will it look more expensive, it will stand the test of time and it'll be a far better investment. And my style tip number nine is look after your clothes. Take care of your clothes, hang them up, get them altered if they need to be altered to fit your shape and get them repaired when they need it. Iron them or better still, steam them. Um, if you steam them, this is a really, really good way, uh, the best way actually to look good, particularly for things like silk. Uh, much more gentle, much more effective, and it makes such a difference to an outfit if it's well cared for and steamed in particular. And finally, if you know me, or if you've seen any of my videos, you won't be surprised by my final style tip, which is wear sunglasses. One of my very favourite items in my wardrobe are sunglasses and honestly they don't have to be expensive to look expensive. Some of my best ones are actually from Amazon and there are also lots of other brands out there, I'm thinking of Key, La Specs, that produce really good quality sunglasses for a very reasonable amount and they're always in really good, classic, beautifully expensive looking styles. Just throwing on a pair of sunglasses, particularly if they're big and black, can make you look way more expensive, confident and absolutely gorgeous, easy to do. So all the links to the items that I mentioned and the items that I've shown are in the video description if you scroll down under the video. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video, ladies. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up because it gives me an indication of the videos that you've loved so that I can make more of them for you. And I hope you have a really amazing day and I'll see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye.